Okay, people, welcome back to another Star Wars Play Day! Now, if everything goes as planned, I should be at the Star Wars Celebration setting up for the show tomorrow. And then it's five days of Star Wars. Mm-mm-mm. So why not have a Star Wars play day to lead into that? I'm actually recording this, well, you're watching it right now. I recorded this last week, getting ready for the show. And I just had a Star Wars play day, I know, but I've acquired some more customs. That's essentially what play day is. Playing with some customs, uh, some third party items, maybe stuff from other lines or other scales that fit into the six inch line. Just stuff to populate my six inch collection. <laughs> That's what this breaks down to. First up here is a custom wedge head sent to me by Chris Miller. Now I recognize the name right off the bat. He comments a lot on the videos and I truly, truly appreciate that. He also blames me for getting him into the 112th collecting craze. I believe me, I feel your pain. And then he's also gotten into customs as you can tell from the wedge head here. Now I don't know if he shrunk a cast or he sculpted this or where this came from, but the likeness is pretty good. Pretty nice detailed work to the eye and popping it on to the X-Wing pilot Luke body. It's not that bad at all. Now it comes out a little bit short because Luke is a little bit short. So I'll probably need to customize this a little bit. Uh, get a Bosque body or something. Uh, work some orange in. Get him a little bit taller. And then of course customize him his own individual helmet. I probably won't stuff it on there, but he can hold it. He can, uh, you know, they're big plans. We need more pilots. We need more guys like this. Wedge and Biggs and Porkins. Yes, I want Porkins. Shut up. He says he's making these heads available for anyone who wants them so check them out on his Facebook and Instagram at CM Custom and then on eBay at C Miller 0034. Next up, as soon as I reviewed the Hasbro Marvel Legends, I said Marvel Legends, the Hasbro Black Series General Grievous, I knew I would need to replace that cape. It just kind of lays there and I don't know if this is the right color. Again, I haven't checked. I probably should have, but I, I wanted it to be a little bit darker and it just doesn't lay right. Now they did put the pockets in there for the lightsabers. That's pretty nifty. But lastly, he's missing the symbol on the back. So that night after the review, I got on eBay and went to GPS lot or GP slot, but I knew he'd come through. And while this is a light cape, it's double layered. It's got some heft to it, so it'll lay naturally when you put it on, and you see it, don't you? <laughs> you bring it around. This one has the symbol on the back. I don't know how he did this. I'm always amazed by people who can work with cloth. Me, I'm just like, oh, it's magic. And right here, he's put a clasp, and it has just a threaded hoop. You come here, you unlatch it, you open it up, and you can put it on where however you want. Also, in the back, it's got a little piece of wire inside these stretches right here. I'm already afraid that this won't push under the collar of the figure, but I can form fit it around the back and it'll kind of hold. So General Grievous, off with ye. And let's see what this does. Ooh, and that's very, very, very tight. I really don't want to stretch it all the way around the collar, but it laying like this, and laying like it does over the body, it helps to conceal him a little bit better than the other cape does. But because of the material used here, it lays over his shoulders. It doesn't puff out. And then of course you have the symbol on the back as he's running away. Fortunately, there are no lightsaber pockets in this, but just look how that lays. It's because of the weight on the edge around here. It, the middle, it just falls with the weight of the stitching. Not that it's heavy, it still stands up fine. Okay, after messing with this for a while, you can lift up this armor plate in the back and kind of stuff the cape down in behind that. And that kind of lets it slide up under the collar. There's no gap under the collar here. Perfect world, I would pop open or pop this up if it came apart. I'm not even sure if that's a separate piece and then just kind of stuff the cape in there. But if I do latch it, it pulls itself up over. It's just too tight. And it just pop. Let's try to get it under there, right there, and right here. Eh, not bad. It's not any worse than the stock cape, but it's definitely meant to go on the model kit. It's still kind of a stretch, but the model kit has more gap underneath this collar right here, so it looks a whole lot better. Because of how far I've stretched it though, it wants to bunch up and kind of stick up right here, but it still lays beautifully over the body. And it would work better with single arms, but <laughs> so, uh, where is that box with the single arms? And because of the lightweight of the cape, the model kit has no problem standing with 
the cape on there. Of course, the model kit in general has, and get it in general, General Grievous, but it has an easier time standing than the Black Series figure. And then finally, this box comes from J Custom Figures on Instagram. Now, if you remember from the last play date, he sent me a battle damaged Vader that was amazing. And then he also sent along a custom clone with all kinds of accessories and extras. It was amazing too. So when I saw him selling some stuff on Instagram, I jumped on it and I know what I ordered and I know what he talked me into ordering along with it for a damn fine price. But then he also said he would throw a couple things in and I can't remember what that was. And I don't know if there's any surprises in here. So let's take a look at what is in this box. Whoa. <laughs> he, he kept them all in the boxes or put them back in the boxes along with a toothpick that has some paint stir on it or some glue or something. Black series and figure arts. This looks like one of those, I, I think it's a knockoff Kota Bikia Royal Guard. I already have a couple of these, but ooh. I always take more. In fact, there's two of them, so I'll have two to go along with the two I already have. You can never have enough Royal Guards flanking the Emperor. And then there's two Royal Guard boxes that... Oh, look at that. Got a battle damage Vader. Now I can have a couple... Is it two of them? Yep, a couple of battle damage Royal Guards. They both have different damages to the helmet and to the bodies. There's even chips. Oh, I gotta get these open. And what better way to protect a custom than to put it back in the original package. That's brilliant. And look at the dings and gouges, missing a little bit of, the, well, kind of a lot of the shoulder armor right there. Gouge out right here. The way he's put black in there to make it look like singe marks or something. Same thing on the crotch guard, a little piece. Yeah, <laughs> good thing that was there. Shin armor looking nice and worn. He's even come along and torn up the cape, or well, robe in this case. And then nothing really on the, oh wait, no, look. <laughs> he's even damaged up the butt flap and up in here too. If I was making this, I wouldn't have done that because the cape hanging down, yeah, a little extra effort there. And then for the other one, you can see this slash coming across the visor right here. And the same dings and gouges, and it just looks like blaster fire or even lightsaber marks. Is the back done over here too? Oh, you sly son of a bitch. Look at that. Man, I would not want to be a part of the rebel garrison that these three just ran through. Very Crimson Empire. I love these things. I, as much as I like having the Royal Guards just standing there looking stoic, just guarding the Emperor, I also like to see him kick a little ass. And this is the Royal Guard and Vader kicking some ass. Of course, they took their hits too, but I'm sure they doled out more than they got. Now, this is the one that started the avalanche of this box. This is the one I saw on Instagram and I said, hey, I'm going to buy that from you. And he said, hey, okay. But I'll also give you a hell of a deal on some Horn Company guys to go along with Captain Locke. Now, I didn't know anything about Captain Locke, the name, or Horn Company. I haven't watched through Clone Wars yet, damn it. I just knew I wanted a green captain and getting some green troopers to go with them. Gravy on the biscuit. And just like the other clone I received, he's even customized the hands to match the colors on the body. And with that, oh, I love the damage on these. I just love the way he punched in the greens and the Horn Company logo. It just works. Now the base for this is a Figure Arts clone trooper. I don't have a lot of Figure Arts clones, but customized like this, I'll take all of them. I'll get as many as I can. And the Horn Company trooper is just more of the same basic trooper. It's got the green on it. It's got the logo on the chest. I just like the wear all over. It looks like, you know, the greens come off a little bit on the hands. And to have two of them the same, at least when it comes to the logo and where the green is located and everything, but different battle marks on each one. That, <laughs> that makes me happy. That's even cooler. <laughs> so at the end of the day, oh my God, I love customs. There's just something special about having somebody's blood, sweat, and tears in your collection. And some people are just so good at this that <laughs> anymore, I don't even feel like I want to do my own stuff because I'm constantly comparing to other people's work and thinking, I can't do that. I, just, I want it, but damn it. So special thanks to Chris Miller for sending me along the wedge head. I feel like we need more rebels and this is a good start to that. If you're interested in one, hit him up on his socials. There's several sellers on eBay that I get cloth goods from. GPS slot is just one of them, but I've never been disappointed with his work. I've stretched that damn clasp on that cape several times, getting it around both the model kit and the black series and it hasn't shown any signs of tearing out. And then finally, J Custom Figures. I, I look through his Instagram daily at all these troopers, and man, if I had my way, 
I would be commissioning troopers from him on a weekly basis. I would have whole shelves full of just troopers. It's freaking amazing what he can do with a clone body. Hell, it's amazing what he can do with anybody. What the hell am I talking about? So if you like this little look at some of the customs I got for my Star Wars display this month, comment, like, subscribe, I'll catch you on the foosh.